I'm Steve with Marine Depot Direct, and today we're talking about transom ladders. So transom ladders are the ladders that are mounted on the transom or the side of your boat. And we've got a couple different options uh, depending on your style, your comfort, and just your general taste. So we're gonna start off with the two models that we have of like the sport and dive ladders. So for the sport and dive ladders, they both go on these brackets. Uh, I'll have the, uh, the SKUs for everything popping up all around the, the screen. There will be links in the description below for all the ladders um, and the accessories. But they both will work with uh, these brackets. Basically they are almost the same, except that you can see that this one is uh, extended out a little bit. And that's mostly to kind of um, pass any kind of like rub rail or something that you have on your boat, or if you just want it extended a little bit. Uh, you know, as with pretty much everything, it depends on your style and your needs. So for the sport and dive ladders themselves, we've got these two. Uh, there are different step variations. This is our uh, non-telescoping one. You can see it's just a solid piece of tubing all throughout. And it's nice and sturdy. Uh, they both hold up to 400 pounds, you know, to meet with the ABYC standards and all that fun stuff. Uh, this one is held in place with a small bungee. So when you're ready to deploy, you just take that off. Telescope's out nice and easy, very secure and sturdy. And then when you're done, just bungee it back up and you can take it in and stow it. To use the brackets, when it's mounted on the boat, you just take out the little pin, slide the ladder into it, and reinsert the pin. To lock it in place. So you might choose one of these ladders over the other for any number of reasons. Um, maybe you only have a small space to store your ladder in your boat, so you want the telescoping one that'll fit into a nice uh, compact space. Um, maybe you like the look of the uh, non-telescoping ladder and how uh, sturdy it feels. Like I said, they both hold up the same weight, but you know, non-telescoping versus telescoping, it's always up to your preference, but ultimately the choice comes down to you and what you like. And for storing our non-telescoping ladder, we also sell these clips that you can buy and they will clip right onto the ladder itself. So you can store it on a wall if you'd prefer, um, or on the inside uh, near where the, you're going to be putting the bracket. Um, just, you know, wherever you want. And once they're on there, it is nice and secure. Here's our next version of transom ladder. This is actually how it looks stowed. It's mounted into this uh, area right there. And then when you're ready to deploy it, you just pop it out of these nice little nylon clamps. They're good and sturdy. And it is stowed with a little bungee cord as well. So it pops down right there at a nice comfortable angle. We do have a couple different step variations of this, so you can pick whichever one you'd like. This is our three-step model. And then when you're ready to stow it, and this one is nice because it does, you know, like with most of our transom ladders, it takes up very little actual mounting space unlike the larger kinds of ladders. It's all sturdy and again, holds up to 400 pounds. Next we have this model for our transom ladder. It is, uh, again, nice and sturdy. It's mounted with two brackets that pivot to match the angle of your boat with two standoffs. It's held in place with a nice sturdy marine grade nylon clip. So when you're ready to deploy, just pop that off and deploy it for use. You can find links to all of these ladders and accessories in the description down below. 
Thanks, and I'll see you next time. Hey, thanks for checking out that video. Click over here to see what YouTube thinks that you should be watching next, and click over here to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss another video.